Good evening, this is Shaman Oig reading and this is a reading for the sign of Aries. We only have three cards. On the left is the plant spirit card called Patchouli. In the middle is the divine feminine oracle card called Lilith. And on the right is the shaman's dream oracle card called Veiling Tree. The plant spirit card called patchouli grows as a bushy perennial herb which can grow up to 75 centimeters in height and it's a flowering plant with bearing small pale pink and white flowers. This plant spirit comes into your reading to tell you it is time to return to your true self and to connect again to body and soul. You fell out of balance Aries and now you have the feeling that this separated you from the people you care about. This created a tear in your soul and separates you from the people you love. And now you seek to restore balance so that a natural rhythm of your life can be restored. Know that a plant soul patchouli has come to protect you and also bring you a redeeming blessing so that your emotional hurts and your broken heart can be healed. Maybe you are not really separated from your loved ones It could be that you have a wrong perception. That is why the patchouli plant has come to help you and bring you back down to earth so that you become aware of your physical body and you can also relax emotionally. So say this affirmation, I feel my body completely and I know that I can overcome the illusion of separation by being always present in the here and now. Say it again. I feel my body completely and I know that I can overcome the illusion of separation by being always present in the here and now. Last time, I feel my body completely and I know that I can overcome the illusion of separation by being always present in the here and now. The oil of the patchouli plant has a very grounding and earthy note. This makes this oil a magic oil that helps you to relax and overcome inner unrest. You can use patchouli oil in a diffuser or as a soothing anointment of your feet in the evening. This oil stabilizes, gives you balance, is sexually enhancing and also helps you to have a healthy heart connection with others. Patchouli relates to the root chakra, sacral chakra and the heart chakra. The Divine Feminine card is called Lilith. Lilith embodies our sovereignty to declare our desires and do what needs to be done in order to live out our desires. According to Jewish folklore, Lilith was Adam's first wife. She was created from the very same earth as Adam, so when Adam later expected her to be subservient to him, she frankly refused. Lilith argued and tried to explain to Adam that they both were created equal by the act of God's creation, but Adam insisted on her submission. So Lilith spoke the divine formula of words and then just flew away. 
supposedly that angered Adam and he did all in his power to get Lilith back. He even sent angels after her to force her to return to him. But Lilith was now with the archangel Samael and she desired to remain with him. And the archangel is really called Samael, okay? In ancient Jewish Midrash, the retelling of biblical stories, Lilith is portrayed as a demon. A feminist contemporary theologian named Judith Plasco, she has incorporated women's experiences and women's voices into the traditional texts with their own Midrash. By doing so, Plasco transformed the fearsome and demonized Lilith into a wise and empowered woman. Lilith embodies the emotional and spiritual aspects of our unconscious or unrealized desires, sensuality as well as sexuality. Lilith is having ownership over her body and also her soul. Many have a problem with that, but for many women, Lilith has become an icon of freedom. They see Lilith as the first woman refusing, refusing to be dominated or defined by anyone or anything other than themselves. Lilith asks women what would happen if you left everything behind. Lilith wonders about every woman who is not fully experiencing her desires and she is asking all women is it you who is not experiencing the desires or is it the convention of the society to tell you what you need to do and who defines you in your womanhood. Lilith is her own ruler and she alone says what her body and soul needs. Lilith asks if you would be born a man, would you still act in the way a woman usually acts? Lilith has no problem with her desires and she wants all women to do the same. Now we come to the shaman dream card. It is called Wailing Tree. And this card relates to some kind of grief and loss and also reconciliation. When the Wailing Tree card arrives, it wants you to regroup, stay relaxed and then say goodbye to what no longer works in your life. Maybe you have been overdoing things by working too hard, Aries. Maybe you put too much effort in something with very little return of a reward. And then you might have concluded that it is time for some change. The card wants to help you to make such a change or changes. But first, the card's message is, that you need to feel disappointment, feel your loss or losses and accept all for what it is. That way you honor your experience and you are able to put a proper closure on things. Otherwise you might walk right into a similar pattern and then again end up with the feeling of loss. Skipping the stages of loss does not help you out. You need to face the truth, feel the pain of loss and then accept the experience as an enrichment to your life. The card can also be a reminder to take time for yourself. 
in between working hard. Then the card gives you the warning that if you allow your work to stress you out all the time, you might end up regretting it not to have taken time out for relaxation. So Aries, if your life is hectic and you are feeling overworked and stressed out, then regroup and make time for yourself to bring some fun back into your life. Okay? So, that was the reading for Aries. Thank you for being here, Aries. I wish you a wonderful Sunday, uh, Monday evening. And I see you back next time when I have a reading for Aries. I'm a little bit confused with Sunday, Monday, Aries, excuse me, because today is a holiday in Germany. So I'm still in this weekend mode. Okay? So I wish you a wonderful evening. Please come back next time when I have another reading for your sign. Okay? Thank you. Goodbye.